So Justice Amy Coney Barrett is in the news again because she has to decide whether she's going to participate in or recuse herself from a case in which she has a conflict. Let's talk about that. Because justice matters. Hey all, Glenn Kirshner here. So Justice Amy Coney Barrett is in the news again because she's getting ready to potentially participate in a case involving an organization that poured more than a million dollars into an effort to get her confirmed to the Supreme Court. I know you're saying to yourselves, wait a, wait a minute, wait a minute. That doesn't sound appropriate. Yeah, it's not. And that is undoubtedly what prompted Senator Sheldon Whitehouse to tweet this out this morning. Quote, Justice Barrett is set to decide a case brought by the same right-wing special interest group that poured over a million dollars into a campaign to get her confirmed. She needs to recuse herself under Supreme Court precedent. And in fact, Democratic lawmakers have sent a letter to Justice Barrett demanding that she recuse, that is, remove herself from the case. And here is how that letter was reported out by NPR. The Democratic lawmaker's letter to Barrett notes that, quote, just minutes after your nomination by former President Trump last September, the Americans for Prosperity Foundation announced in a press release it was mounting a full-scale campaign to confirm Amy Coney Barrett to the Supreme Court, saying they would be spending more than a million dollars toward that effort. By the way, the Americans for Prosperity Foundation, that would be a Koch brothers organization. And now Amy Coney Barrett will potentially get to preside over a case that will either help that organization or hurt that organization that poured a million dollars into her confirmation campaign. How cozy! How ethically bankrupt. Oh, and by the way, the case itself, folks, involves the question of whether nonprofit organizations like this one can hide from the federal government the identity of their high dollar donors. No, you can't make this stuff up. Now, maybe. Justice Barrett will recuse herself from the case, and maybe she won't. But what does this debacle once again highlight? It highlights the need to increase the number of justices on the Supreme Court. Nine is not a magic number. You can read the Constitution front to back, back to front, and nowhere does it say, there shall be nine and the number of the counting shall be nine. That's loosely stealing from a Monty Python movie. There's nothing that requires a fixed set number of nine justices on the Supreme Court. In fact, during our nation's history, we've had as few as five. We've had as many as 10 Supreme Court justices. And here's the thing. We know that the Republicans are okay with altering the number because for almost a year, the last year of President Obama's term, they reduced the number to eight by unconstitutionally depriving Merrick Garland of his advice and consent hearing, as is set out in the Constitution. I predict they'll rue the day they did that, now that Merrick Garland is Attorney General, and you know, Bill Barr's de facto immunity for all Republicans is no more, but I digress. But we know that the Republicans were happy with eight justices for a year when they unconstitutionally deprived Merrick Garland of his advice and consent hearing. 
So in order to address Mitch McConnell's nefarious court packing that we all saw in the harsh light of day, it's time to increase the number of justices on the Supreme Court. Not in an underhanded way, the way McConnell did, but we're going to do it the right way. Because justice matters. As always, folks, please stay safe. Please stay tuned. And I look forward to talking with you all again tomorrow.